So the student body wants to hold a costume party out at the old abandoned house on Creepy Corners, eh? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And the house belongs to Mr. Lodge, Mr. Weatherby, and all we need is his permission. I'm sure Daddy will say it's all right. And we want you and Miss Grundy to be chaperones. Really? Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like fun. I'll just give Mr. Lodge a phone call and get his permission. Uh, where is your father, Veronica? Oh, he's out in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Uh-huh. Sahara Desert. That's five, three. Huh? Sahara Desert? Oh, no! This calls for some emergency action, like a phone booth in the desert. Mm, now, who could that be? Hello? Uh, Mr. Lodge! Yes, it's me, Mr. Weatherby. I'm just going along minding my own business when I see this phone booth and I get the strangest urge to call you. The old house on Creepy Corners? Why, well, of course you have my permission. Huh? Uh, I think I'd better get out of the sun fast. Boy, this is sure a groovy party. I just think everyone's costumes are so clever. Especially yours, Sabrina. You look like a real witch. Um, oh, thanks, Veronica. It's just a little something I conjured up. I mean, through together. Pardon me, senorita. How's about me and you? Why, certainly, Reginald. Miss Grundy! Reggie? 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 I'll get it, Jughead. It's always a treat to see what kind of costume the kids wear. Ooh, uh, say, now those are pretty authentic. We've got a lot of those, though. Ooh, uh, well, not exactly. I've heard of thin walls, but that's ridiculous. Boy, I sure hate these witches' confabs. They're such a drag. Hey, who are you? I'm the chaperone. Girls? <laughs> we need a chaperone? Say, maybe this confab will be okay. <laughs> hmm, they were a little too old for students. Ha, I bet it's coach cleats and the janitor. Sabrina! Oops! It can't be, but it is. Aunt Hilda and Aunt Zelda, what are you doing here? What are we doing here? We're attending the biannual Witches Confab, dear. Aren't you? <laughs> Look, sister, they have games this time. Oh, goody! The biannual Witches Confab here? In this house? Oh, no! All right, Coach Cleats and Mr. Wary, come here. I recognize you. Can't fool me. Oh, dear. Dear, how am I going to straighten this mess out? <laughs> well, whoever you are, you certainly are light on your feet. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I need a stand-in. Uh-oh, I've got to work fast. She was kind of plump when we started dancing. Now she's skinny as a broom. <laughs> I haven't bobbed for apples since I was a kid, about 400 years ago. <laughs> that was a good trick, Coach. <coughs> Ooh, how would you like a one-way trip to Alaska? Oops, I'd best get Mr. Weatherby away from Aunt Hilda. Alaska? <laughs> Come on, Coach. I'm on to your sleight of hand tricks. <gasps> oh, darn! Missed him! Say, the Coach isn't bad at sleight of feet tricks, too. <laughs> well, Reggie, is that you in there? Say, have you seen any of the Coach's tricks? No, I haven't. But I have seen plenty of other strange things at this party. For instance... Isn't that a strange-looking creature over there? Oh, my goodness. It's horrible. Unbelievable. Look at those close-set eyes. That gray hair. Those flaying arms. No, 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 Mr. Weatherby. That's Miss Grundy. I mean the short one. Oh, uh, what's so strange about him? Uh-oh. Looks like Reggie is beginning to get suspicious of things. Why does he always have to complicate my life? Hmm. This will hold him temporarily. Sorry, Reggie. Hey, 
Excuse me, Reggie. I want to speak to the coach. Where'd the runner be? Oh, Sabrina! Uh, yes, Veronica? Don't you think our party is just too, too, too? Um, yeah, it, it sure is. Oh, coach! I just can't get over the costumes. They're so authentic. Why, you just swear that the place was full of ghosts and goblins. Um, yes, Veronica, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Please excuse me, Veronica. Hmm, Sabrina sure acted strange. Ah, so you've noticed it too, huh, Ronnie? If you ask me, there's more going on around here than meets the eye. <laughs> like, that's what I mean. Aunt Hilda, that's not... Yep! You didn't zap him to Alaska. Yep, I don't like being called Coach. Oh, please, Aunt Hilda, just this once. Well, oh, all right. I'll bring him back. That was a cool trick, Coach. I tell you, gang, there's something phony going on around here, and I'm going to prove it. Uh, you mean after all these years, you're going to give yourself up, Reggie? <laughs> very funny, very funny. Stop the music! Stop the music! May I have your attention, please? Uh-oh. It looks like this is the showdown. I think it's about time for a showdown. I thought so. In case you're not aware of it, this place is full of ghosts, witches, and goblins. Boo! You can say that again. <laughs> Phew! Good for Jughead. No, 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 no! I mean really! And I can prove it. Look, it's midnight, the bewitching hour, and time to unmask. <laughs> <gasps> unmask? Oh, no. Here's where everyone in Riverdale learns about us, and the results will be disastrous. <laughs> Who ever heard of witches unmasking? I've got it. I hope this works. Hey, Reggie, how's about starting off with you unmasking first? Are you kidding? Hey! Oh, darn. I could have danced all night. I didn't see that. I did not see that. Stop him! Stop him! I think I've got one! I think I got one! Hurry! Hurry! Uh-oh! Oh, no! Hurry! Hurry! Someone get a light! <laughs> really, Reginald, aren't you overdoing this ghost bit a bit? Yes, my dear. How did it go? I'll tell you how it went. It went wonderful, Mr. Lodge. Especially that scary group you hired to entertain us. Oh, yes. The group I hired? But of course, without Reggie's help, they wouldn't have been half as convincing. Entertainers? And you know, uh, I was rather good at that, wasn't I? Care to dance, Sabrina? Love to, Reggie. Strange. I can't recall hiring a group of entertainers. A bill? I must be getting forgetful. 